why is it always that I, I set up the mic and then I just I move it at the start of recording because it's just it's hello everyone welcome to Cuck Me Herbs Coding Class and welcome to part what is it now part six of the JavaScript HTML beginner tutorial series making your own generic clicker game very long name today we're gonna be adding achievements that's right every good clicker game has achievements so just as an example I'll buy a generic and look achievement unlocked I got a generic and I think I've got one for 10 generics and you can make as many of these as you want by the way it's super easy in fact you can even procedurally generate them for oat clicker you eventually begin getting procedurally generated achievements that I didn't even write myself which is nice all right let's get started So, to get started, pop open your editor, your, your code editor here, which I should have had open at the beginning, and I'm going to hit Alt-Z. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it so that the code wraps around and I don't have sideways scrolling. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and right underneath the div called Upgrades, we're going to make a line break with the BR tag, and we're going to make another div, and we are going to give it an ID. ID equals, and in quotes, just call it achieves. That's what I'm going to call it. You should probably call it like achievements, but it's such a long word and you have to type it so many times that it's easier just to abbreviate it for the sake of the variable. And then you should give it some style. You can either do this with CSS or because I don't feel like making a style sheet, you can just type it right into here the style attribute width colon. 400 pixels. You don't have to do these exact values, by the way. I'm just, these are about right for me. Semicolon height, colon, 300 pixels, semicolon. And this one's important. Overflow, overflow, colon, scroll. That will make it so that you can scroll down on it but only once it's full. It, it'll be nice. Great. Now, let's go up to our clicker variable here. Var clicker equals whatever. And after upgrades, we'll do a comma and we'll make another aspect called achieves colon. And then we'll make an array. So you'll put this in square brackets. And then each index of this array will be an object. So we're gonna do req inside of the first one. This is how you make all your achievements, by the way. req colon, and then something that needs to be true, but you're gonna put it in quotation marks, and we'll get to this later. Just put it in quotes for now. Clicker dot generics is greater than zero. This is what we're gonna do to check if you have your first generic then comma gotten colon false because you haven't gotten this achievement yet obviously and then finally text colon you have one generic and that is the text that will pop up once you achieve that achievement and then you can basically just copy and paste this a bunch of times, or you could even write a function to make those for you. I did that for O Clicker. Uh, just Control C. Whoa. Control V, and we'll make that greater than uh, greater than nine, and we'll change this to ten generics. And I don't feel like making any more achievements for now. You can always come back and make as many as you want, and that's what's nice about them. Cool. Okay. So now, we're going to go down to the update count function. We're going to go right underneath this if statement here, and we're going to do this. For, in parentheses, i in clicker dot achieves, which is of course short for achievements, open curly brackets, if in parentheses, clicker1 
dot achieves in square brackets i is equal to null or clicker dot achieves in square brackets i dot text is not equal to clicker one dot achieves in square brackets i dot text and what this just will check is if there's any new achievements or if you have changed the text of one of the achievements that you already had and then we'll just do something very simple clicker one that achieves in square brackets i equals clicker dot achieves in square brackets i and then right after this for loop we will simply add clicker equals clicker one and now I just noticed I actually put this in the wrong spot you're supposed to put it inside of the if statement so what we can do is just we can close we can get rid of this closing bracket on the if statement and move it over here and then you can do alt shift F and it'll automatically fix up your code and make it pretty great now that we've done this we only need to add one more thing it's not really a line but it's a thing so you see here for I and clicker dot upgrades whatever whatever add another line and we're gonna do another for loop for I in clicker not clicker one clicker dot achieves open curly brackets var b it doesn't really need to be b but it it can be anything b is just a short word equals new function with a capital f in parentheses open quotes return space after the quotes plus symbol clicker or clicker one dot achieves in square brackets i dot req and what this does is it creates a new function obviously new function is literally one of the words you see here that will check if you have enough generics or whatever to get that achievement so that is a boolean and it will be true or false and I'll just return true or false quite simple and then all you have to do is make an if statement if b open parentheses close parentheses to run that function and so two ampersands right next to each other not an exclamation mark that's what an exclamation mark does it means not not clicker dot achieves in square brackets i dot gotten so if gotten is false basically open curly brackets clicker dot achieves in square brackets i dot gotten equals true so that you don't get it again semicolon don't forget your semicolons and then document dot not get element by id no 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 query selector in parentheses open quotes hashtag achieves dot inner html plus sign equals sign to add to it and then open these weird quotes we talked about before line break so a br tag achievement unlocked in all caps well it doesn't have to be all caps you can do whatever you want it doesn't even have to say achievement unlocked in that way then add another line break and then dollar sign open curly brackets clicker dot achieves in square brackets i dot text close curly brackets and then 
add a semicolon at the end of the line. And that's it. That's all the code. So hit, oops, wrong button. Don't click on that. Hit go live or whatever the equivalent in your editor is. And, oh man, I got a lot of generics. I'm just going to disable JavaScript so I can reset my game. So disable that. Delete current cookies. Oh, no, I do not want to. Wrong button. There we go. Enable JavaScript again. Get one generic. I don't have any achievements. What have I done? What did I do wrong? Oh, so here I, I made a mistake on the for loop. I accidentally typed a mount instead of a cheese, so just change that. There we go. Okay, I've cleared my game. Let's hit run. No, it's not working. It's not working. Let's go back. Oh, I've made another mistake. So here. In clicker.achieves i.req, you're not supposed to do i.req, you're supposed to do i, so close the square brackets, dot req. There we go. Now, you should probably clear your game yet again. Delete and reload. Okay, let's get a generic. Achievement unlocked. You have one generic. Now you can copy and paste this as many times as you want. And look, I just did it once for to get 10 generics, but you can do it as many times as you want, make updates, change the text, do whatever, and it should work. So, oof. <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and stay tuned next week for the final part in this series where we won't be doing that much. We're going to just be adding some finishing polishes to our game such as making the numbers like when you see this number like if I make clicker.generics be like a whole bunch let's make it that like that's an ugly number this will put commas into it and if you have a million instead of saying all of the zeros with commas it'll just say one space million and that's useful so Hopefully, you know, you'll watch that one. I'm out.